In previous videos on the nervous system, you learned all about action potentials and how they travel through an axon. You also learned there are small gaps between the axon of one neuron and the dendrite of the next, called synapses. So how do messages get passed between neurons? Let's take a closer look. Most neurons use chemicals to pass the message across the synapse. And that is what we'll look at today. The end of an axon is called the synaptic knob and contains synaptic vesicles inside. These vesicles contain chemical neurotransmitters, which can either excite or inhibit a neuron. The most common neurotransmitter in these synaptic vesicles is acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is an excitatory neurotransmitter, meaning it stimulates the next neuron to have an action potential. When an impulse gets to the synaptic knob, there are calcium ion channels that open. The calcium inside signal the synaptic vesicles to go to the membrane and release the neurotransmitter into the synapse. In our case, that acetylcholine released diffuses through the gap and binds with a sodium gate. Taking an even closer look, we see that this opens that sodium gate, causing sodium ions to rush into the dendrite of that neuron, which, if you remember, will start depolarization, and an impulse will then travel through the neuron. With this acetylcholine floating around, there could be a problem with constantly exciting the next neuron. Cholinesterase, which is also known as acetylcholinesterase, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. This breaks down acetylcholine. This is an inhibitory neurotransmitter as it blocks depolarization and doesn't allow an action potential to happen. Now for an action potential to actually start, the acetylcholine has to cause enough sodium channels to open to get past negative 50 millivolts. This is called the threshold potential. If it doesn't get past negative 50 millivolts, then there is no action potential no impulse, no message carried through the neuron. If it is stimulated above negative 50 millivolts, then the action potential spreads down the whole neuron. This is called all or none response. I'll share a quick example of this threshold. There are millions of organisms living on us. A particularly disturbing one is Demodex, which are tiny mites that can live in your eyelashes. Yet we don't feel them. Their touch is too soft to reach threshold and create an action potential to tell your brain there's something there. But if there was a dog on your eyelash, you would definitely feel it. All right, we have had a lot of videos now describing how the nervous system works. Hopefully, this has improved your understanding. Be sure to check the links below to make sure you haven't missed any of our nervous system videos.